So this question is a respiratory question and it deals with um, a graph where it's an oxygen dissociation curve and they're asking um, which what happens if there is carbon dioxide that's binding to what's going to happen or where the points are going to move so originally uh, the arterial uh, arterial position or partial pressure of oxygen for artery is A and for venous it's D so the question is asking where exactly these points are going to move if carbon monoxide comes in binds now we already know from the question that carbon monoxide occupies one third of the binding site. So for finding the uh, finding the position for A is quite easy because the partial pressure is not going to change. It's the oxygen content that's going to change. So we divide this number, which is about 20, by 3, and then we subtract the number from 20, and then we get this point F. All right, so that's easy. Um, now this point is about 13.5. So now the problem is determining which one is the venous one. So for the venous one, the mixed venous oxygen content from D, like logically if we just drop down here, it should, the partial pressure is not going to change, but it's not the case. For venous one, it's going to be the arterial partial pressure, okay? The arterial oxygen content minus total body oxygen consumption divided by cardiac output that would be the answer so it has to be 13.5 minus here it says um, total body oxygen consumption is 250 divided by cardiac output is going to be 50 milliliter okay and that would be G so that's how you get this answer